The Isobo is a simple but extremely cheap device usually used for isometric exercise and stretching. With this workout, however, I like to make use of another principle called isomotion. More or less, during isometric contractions, we are going to use motion. But small motions. Why you ask? For one, I found that small motions can be very effective for muscle hypertrophy and it's a great way to switch things up from your usual workouts where full range of motion is key. This workout is not so much about functionality as it's more about isometric strength and muscle development while not being too demanding uh, of your joints and tendons. Instead of counting reps, we will do three sets to failure for each exercise. Failure in this case does not mean uh, to absolute exhaustion. It just means that you do the exercise until it becomes really uncomfortable. After each set, you take 30 to a seconds to a minute rest to recover. Let's begin. One, isobow spread. Similar to a bull worker spread, but it works at a different range. So simply put uh, outwards pressure on the isobow as much as is comfortable. Do this for 10 seconds, then make small sideway motions. Remember, for this workout, we keep the motion small. Three sets to failure. Take 30 seconds to a minute rest between each set. This exercise works a lot of muscles all at once. Very effective for overall back, arms and shoulder development. Two, eyes are both chest cross. Keep your arms crossed, create a contraction in your chest. You can either uh, keep your arms fully extended or closer to your body. Do what feels comfortable. Three sets to failure, take 30 seconds to a minute rest between each set. This gives a very strong contraction in your chest. One of the best out there, although I do prefer the steel bow variant. Eyes of bow row pull. Similar to a bow pull, you can adjust the grips to be horizontal. Hold the contraction for 10 seconds. From there, you move the eyes bow back and forth like this. Small back and forward motions, as if you're pulling a rope. Again, the three sets to failure. Great exercise for your arms. There are not much exercise like this one. You could compare it to pulling a bow, but by changing the angle of the grips, you do end up using very different muscles. Four, iso bow pull down. Effective for the latissimus dorsi. I always like the alternative lat exercise. I feel that they are uh, better at isolating the lats compared to more conventional methods. Hold the first contraction for 10 seconds, then do short motions that I'm showing here. Make sure that the contraction comes from your back. Take rest after two sets, one set for each side, and do a total of six sets. Let me show you all the exercise in a row. You can also decide to do a superset. So first we're gonna do the isobow spread. Hold it for 10 seconds. Now we're gonna start making small motions. And you'll quickly feel that this works a lot of muscles in you. It, it will quickly become um, strenuous. It's not, easy as it, it's not as easy as it looks. So, second exercise, chest cross, hold it for 10 seconds. And then the best thing to do is make this motion. If it's too easy, you can always use a little bit more force. You can always decide to use a little bit more strength to make it harder. So, the eyes of bow pull, uh, no, <laughs> the rope pull. So hold it for 10 seconds. And start pulling.
course it's a good idea to switch up, but you don't have to. Although I would recommend it to prevent muscle imbalances. And then the last one. Um, yeah, we can do it like this too. The eyes are both pulled down. And look, the contraction comes from my back. Switch up. And that's the workout. That's how you do it. That's how you do all the exercises. So you can do a superset like that, or you can, uh, yeah, and like start again with the first exercise, or you can just do um, one exercise at a time and just do uh, three sets to failure, like I've mentioned before, and then take 30 seconds rest, or you can just do every exercise one after another without taking any rest for three sets. Yeah, that's two ways how you can do it. That's the workout. If you don't own an ISO bow, you can also do this with a towel. Also, the ISO bow is a lot more comfortable in the hands. Also, you have the added benefit to apply fat grips to this device. As I show in this video. This helps with improving grip strength and forearm size. Learn more about nutrition by clicking the links in the description below. Otherwise, watch my videos on the Bullworker, consider to become a Patreon and support the channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and see you next time.